Well, you know, and speaking of vices, isn't there kind of an interesting play coming to town? Yes, there is. So glad you brought this up. And before we even mention what it is, I want to say this is the perfect thing for our show to promote. <laughs> and here's why. Radio ain't going to talk. Neil and Julie, you're not going to hear this from them. Right. Local News 8, they won't touch this. No. We will. Because Hell it's Hell yeah. It's about vibrators. <laughs> Which is kind of hilarious. You know, the buzzy <laughs> yeah. buzz, the toy, the thing under your pillow, the thing in your nightstand, the thing you tell your babysitter not to go near your nightstand for this reason. Yeah, yeah. You Maybe really... even hide it between you're not fooling anybody, the mattress and the box spring. Uh-huh. You know, they really need to make some kind of like really good. First off, they should have bed frames with like built in hidden alcoves. They should. Like That'd the be fact, a great idea. The fact that that's not already a thing, at least for like queen size mattresses and up, I wonder is kind of dumb. I wonder if they tackle because where you hide it. Yeah, yeah. In a shoe, in your underwear drawer. Personally, I don't know. I don't own a vibrator. Right. But um, you know, though that makes sense to put it in like an underwear drawer or something, because then, like, let's say for example, you are stranded somewhere and you need an important document mm -hmm. and it happens to be in the same drawer as your vibrator you've already messed up you did done goof kid yeah. you know <laughs> like there's nothing you can do at that point to make things not awkward for whoever you've decided to call because it's got to be someone close to you you can't call your parents now Le you know <laughs> <laughs> like it's got to be a good buddy or a lover and that's it <laughs> let's say what this is first before we keep going on vibrators <laughs> right it's right. called in the next room or the vibrator play by sarah Hilarious. rule put on by artie mm -hmm. uh, which Art is at the phoenix over on broadway uh -huh, right next to the, the auditorium thank you mm -hmm. and sponsored by can we just say Grant, a bunch of other people, and Grand Teton Gastroenterology. Ha, huh, funny. <laughs> I wonder if they have a little part before the play where they're like, hey, don't put this in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you talk to any gastroenterologist right. and ask them what they do, they will probably say, I do butts and guts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and so thank you for sponsoring that. Also, Hilarious. Also sponsored by Eagle Rock Indian Motorcycles. Oh. AKA the largest vibrators in the world, as I understand it. Do you remember that that 70s show episode where Red wants to get a motorcycle and Kitty is so against it? And then he takes her out for a ride on it and she's like, <laughs> we have to have this. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I mean, let's face it, we're all humans. We all have needs. Mm -hmm. We all like relief from time to time. Yeah. And. The, it, it's so funny to me. So electricity came around late 1800s. Right. And the vibrators followed shortly after. And I believe mm -hmm. I have my facts straight when I say that the inventor of the vibrator was a doctor mm -hmm. who got so tired of female patients coming into his office and needing to be relieved. Well, treated for hysteria was the premise. <laughs> right. You're hysterical. Right. Yeah. Which also kind of hilarious. It's like, Bitch, you are so stressed out. You need to just like come for a second and you'll be fine. Right. And also like not totally wrong. I mean, there is some truth to post not clarity. Yeah. If we're, if, if we're talking about this, and mm -hmm. I guess we are because of this play, mm -hmm. which I guess is about, I don't know even when it takes place, but I, oh, oh, geez. It has uh, partial nudity in it. I wonder what that is. Yeah. I'm kind of intrigued. I probably don't demonstrate it on stage, but. Like, I'm guessing we're going to see a butt. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my guess. This sounds interesting, though. Do you want to go? Oh, of course, this, yeah. This yeah. Uh, I'm First oddly off, curious about this. I actually really love the and Phoenix. I, and I love that it's happening in Idaho Falls, Idaho. Right. Okay, so the Phoenix is a really cool place because they do a lot of irreverent plays in mm -hmm. general. Um, and they're catered by the Bee's Knees, which, if you know, they're the Bee's Knees. It's they're good really stuff. good. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's a great option. I would absolutely love to go. Um, we actually have gone to a couple of their plays in the past, and always we've always had a great time. It's March 22nd through April 13th. Tickets at artidaho.org, not .com. Hey, little note, Art Idaho. Maybe tell your graphic designer it's not .com. It's .org. And we only give notes to places that we love, so 
Coming from a place of love. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But it's it takes place in Victorian era, hysterical patient, doctor, marriage, truly means to love someone. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Sounds like one of the, like that we talked about. kind of nice. Yeah. With the teenage summer mischief movies, it sounds <laughs> right. like it's, it deals with a body topic, but has a sweet, sensitive message. Yeah. That's like nice. Like American Pie. <laughs> or Porky's. <laughs> Still never Funny. seen. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, you know what? Maybe we need to add that to the maybe list we too. Need to add that to our list of well, Troll 2. Yeah. The Room, The Disaster Artist, Romeo plus Juliet, and Porky's. <laughs> there we go. 